What if I told you Apple never existed? No iPhone, no Mac, no iPod commercials with those dancing silhouettes, just a massive apple-shaped hole in tech history. So let's throw out the bitten fruit, rewind the clock, and imagine a world where Steve Jobs stayed in his garage and we all kept using BlackBerry phones like it was a corporate requirement. Let's go straight to 2007. The iPhone drops and every tech company panics, but in this timeline, Apple doesn't exist. So what do we get? We stay stuck with Symbian, Windows Mobile 6, and phones with more buttons than screen. Android? It was originally designed to mimic BlackBerry, complete with a physical keyboard. Google only switched gears after seeing the iPhone. Without Apple, we probably don't get capacitive touchscreens as quickly, no multi-touch and no visual voicemail. The smartphone revolution, delayed by years. And guess what? BlackBerry stays king a bit longer, Palm maybe limps on, and Motorola thinks the Razor is still cool in 2010. Android wouldn't look anything like it does today. Seriously, go look at the 2006 Android prototype. It looks like a calculator fell into a spreadsheet. Apple forced Android to evolve fast, without iOS to copy, because yes, that's what happened. Android might have stayed a clunky, slow, enterprise-only OS. Touchscreens, delayed apps, unrefined. You thought Android fragmentation was bad? Without Apple's unified platform, it'd be worse. Like Windows XP drivers on dial-up worse. Apple didn't invent the PC, but the Macintosh in 1984 did popularize the graphical user interface. Microsoft didn't have Windows until a year later, and it was... rough. The MacBook Air in 2008, it kicked off the whole Ultrabook trend. Before that, laptops were heavy, plasticky, and ugly. Apple basically bullied every other company into designing better hardware. Without Apple, Dell and HP might still be selling laptops that look like cash registers with floppy drives. And no Mac OS? Maybe Linux gets a little more love, but you're still probably stuck between Windows or, uh, Windows. No iPod in 2001? That means we don't get iTunes, which means legal digital music takes way longer to go mainstream. Napster and LimeWire keep running wild, record labels keep losing money, and no one figures out how to make music easy to pay for until Spotify shows up in 2008, in Sweden only. Apple helped kill CDs and helped the music industry survive going digital. Without them, I personally don't know. AirPods launched in 2016 and everyone laughed. They look like toothbrush heads. Fast forward. Now every tech company makes wireless buds and Apple makes billions off theirs. Take Apple out of the picture and true wireless earbuds might still be a niche thing. Or they'd show up way later, probably tied to niche Android brands or audio specialists. Say goodbye to seamless pairing and hello to Bluetooth pairing rituals that require a priest. No Apple ecosystem, no pressure on others to make one. Think about it. Samsung, Google, even Microsoft all built ecosystems because of Apple's blueprint. Without Apple pushing integration, iCloud, AirDrop, handoff, everyone's just winging it. Your laptop doesn't talk to your phone. Your smartwatch doesn't sync anything. Your tablet is just a glorified oversized phone with identity crisis. Now for all the good Apple did, let's not pretend they're saints. $19 cloth, dongles for dongles, proprietary everything. And yes, green bubble drama. But they shaped entire industries. Apple's influence made everyone else better. Design, UI, privacy standards. All pushed forward because everyone was trying to out-Apple Apple. So yeah, if Apple never existed, your phone might still have a stylus, your music would be on a CD binder in your glove box and you'd still be using a laptop with a VGA port. Sleep well knowing Apple existed, even if it means paying $29.99 for a charger.